Hey guys, for this video today, make sure you grab a chair and a pillow and some weights. Hey guys, it's Lauren Hefez. We're gonna do arms and abs today. Grab your weights, soft bend in those knees. Let's take the arms front and out. Think about lifting up nice and tall through the top of your head. Drawing in the abs, shoulders are open and back. Take it out and in. That's it, reach and pull. A light set of weights. Alternate, take it out, out, out. Open up those legs. Here we go, reach. So chest that upper body moves. Lower body stays solid. If the weights are too much, drop them and just punch those arms out. Four, four, three, two, and one. Bring it in, toe heel together again, soften those knees. You take it front and up. Hold it out, reach, reach. That's it. Four, four, three, Open up those legs. We take it, reach. Woo! Four more, just like this. Four, four, three, two, and one. Bring it in. Toe heel. Hinge your body front. Straight arms reach right behind you. Up, up. I'm thinking about drawing my abs in, keeping my chest open, reaching long through those arms. And think about lifting through the backs of those arms, the backs of your shoulders. Don't think too much in your hands. Think in those arms, in those triceps. Back, back, that's it. Now hold it up. Tiny little lifts. Again, have that focus on your tricep. Have it in the back of that shoulder. That's what's lifting, that's what's reaching. Three, two, let's take the arms front, back, back. Find the length in that reach. Get those arms straight, press and hold. But it's slow, so you can really get that full reach. Little bend press right here. Bend press, bend press. Four, eight, seven, six, five, you got it. Four, three, two, and one. Lift it up, open those arms up, shoulders set down, palms up. Take it down, up, down, up, keep moving. You got it. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Drop those weights, keep those arms up. Circle back. Open up those legs. Four, three, two, let's take it. Cross, cross. Back two. Tight, tight, press, press. Open up, get those thumbs back right here. There you go. Woo! Back in front. Twist those palms. Keep reaching through those fingers. For four, three, two. Take that left arm, cross it. Open. So palm goes down and up. Keep reaching through that right arm. Sweep the floor for two and one. Other way. Sweep. Sweep. Yes. Palm goes down and up. Get that thumb back, push. Four more here, take it four. Keep reaching through that left arm. Three, two, one. Take it in, press, push, press. Opening up through those fingers, reaching. Reach, push. Holding those arms back, little lifts up. Draw the abs in, pinkies are up. Now as you lift, start to hug it in. Up in, up in, up in, up in, up in. Four, four, three, two, 
Hold the hug it, tap it in, 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 in. Four, eight, seven, clap it six. You got it, clap it five. That's it, four, four. Hug it in three, two, and one. Pull it up, circle back. Take the arms up, out, up, out. Reach it through, press. Out, up, out. Now hold it out. Elbows in, then press. Don't stop. Start to add a flick of the wrist. Flick, tap, 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 tap. Four, four, three, two, and one. Shake it out. Take it down to your mat completely onto your belly. Arms reach behind you. Shoulders are back. Reaching to the top of your head. Nice long spine. Let's take a nice lift. Take it up. Now think about the upper body. Think about reaching through those arms, reaching through those fingers. Lift and up. That's it, you lift. Woo, feeling those triceps. Up and up. Awesome job. Here we go, hold it up, little pulses. Take it up, up. Keeping those arms up by your hips. You lift, lift. Palms are up, keep reaching, four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and sit it back, take a breath. Back onto your bellies, reach the arms back. This time have the thumbs facing down, the pinkies facing up to the sky, little bend press, here we go, reach. Reach, your chest is lifted. Your abs are pulled in, you're supporting your low back. You're just slightly bending from those elbows and reaching the arms long, four, four. Press, three, reach, two, hug those elbows into your midline, lift them up for three, two, and one. Sit back and breathe. Nice job, guys. Last one, here we go. This time, upper and lower body, bring those legs together, squeeze those inner thighs, reach both arms back, we lift, take it up. And up, think of the inner thighs squeezing. Don't forget about those arms lifting up past your hips. Lift and lift, that's it. Woo, think about lengthening through the spine, not about crushing it, more about reaching for three, for two. Now hold everything up, just those arms. Lift, lift for five, tap four, tap three, for two, and you guys are done with those arms. Sit back into those heels. Toes together, knees wide, reach over to the left, stretch out the right side of that body. And take it to the other side. Sitting up on your mat. Take one arm behind you, stretching out the tricep. And then take it to the other side, big stretch. Let the arms clasp behind you. Roll the neck through the center. You guys are done with your arms. Take it down onto your back to get your abs. Sitting on your mat, grab the backs of your thighs. Sit up nice and tall, draw the shoulders back. For three, two, and one. Think of sitting up, shoulders down your back. Now scoop the tailbone under. Think about lowering that lower part of your spine first, and then slowly melting all the way down to the mat. Your knees are going to stay bent, your feet are flat on the ground. Arms down by your side, and just take a breath here. Maybe you can take your hands to your rib cage. Inhale, feel your ribs expand, and then exhale, feel them close and your fingers get closer together. Take that again, a nice deep inhale. Feel your ribs expand and open. And then exhale, draw the belly in. Use the muscles all around those ribs to pull it tighter together. One more time, inhale. Feel the expansion, then exhale. Feel the ribs close. 
leg up into tabletop. Arms down by your side. So I want your knees stacked over your hips. And just your right leg is going to reach out and pull back in. Switch to left. Out and in. Inhale. Exhale. So I don't need your leg to go super low. Just reach it out wherever that may be. And exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Keep that going. And kind of see what your back is doing. See what your ribs are doing. Try not to rock through that pelvis as you reach that leg long. Try not to arch and kind of blow up that rib cage. All right, now the same thing, except this time we're gonna tap your heel. So tap the right heel, exhale to come up. Inhale left, exhale, down, two, up, two. You might feel a little work in your thighs. Use that breath as you come up. Exhale, there you go, as you come up. Use that breath, use your low abs to pull it up. Take it down, two, exhale, two, that's it. Down, two, exhale, now hold it up. Heels together, your knees open, nice and wide. Pressing your heels together, the inside of your legs almost make a diamond shape. Now, rather than having your knees nice and close to your chest, press those knees so they're stacked right over those hips. The right leg goes down, inhale, exhale, up, two. Left leg down, two, exhale up. Now, if you need to go slower, you can go slower. I'm gonna talk you through this. So, your inner thighs are active as you're pulling up. You're using the strength of your inner thighs and your abs. So you're gonna feel it through those legs. Exhale. If this is too much for you, you can always put one leg down and focus on that one leg. Using your breath. Give me a couple more on each side. Really focus on that low belly. Exhaling, drawing it down. Nice work. Bring your legs together, heels together, close them and lower down. Now press both feet down into the mat. I'm gonna lower the volume a little, hold on. It's getting a little crazy, there we go. <laughs> press both feet into the mat and just lift your butt up and lower down. I just want you to open up those hips a little, engage through that glute. Take a second just to activate that butt. We're gonna do more abs, this is just a little intermission. Give me four more just like this. Four. Now as you're doing this, push your feet into the mat. Two. Now hold it up. Press your feet into the mat. Push your heels into the mat. And think of digging your heels and pulling them toward your glute for three, two. And slowly isolate the spine to lower down for three, two, and one. Now isolate the spine again as you lift up. So your spine directly correlates to your abs. They're opposing. So I want you to have a nice, flexible, limber back and spine so that you can get a nice flexion and crunch in your abs. So right now we're just gonna kinda loosen up, wake up your back as you lower down one vertebrae at a time. You draw the belly in, you lower down. It gets the tightest at your low back usually. So scoop under, press. Lift up, try it again. We take it down, two, three, four, scoop up, two, three, just like that. You take it down, two, three, massage that low back, yes, scoop, press that low back into the mat, there you go, you take it down, two, get that low back, press in, scoop it, and press it up, yes, down, two, pull it in, last one, up, two, three, and release it all the way down. Both feet are pressed into the mat, hands behind your head, inhale. Exhale up, two, three, and down. Curl up, two, three. 
So as you're doing this, I want you to push your feet into the mat. Now hold it. Lift up any leg. So right now my left leg is lifted. My right foot is pushing down into the mat. Twist into that leg. Press your elbow into the knee. Try to make a connection. Try to push deep into that knee and elbow and your opposite foot is pressing into the ground. Now little pulses right here. Up, up. Think about the upper body coming in toward your knee. Four, four, three, two, and one. Take it down, curl up. Maybe reach past your knee. For four, three, two, and one. Opposite side, push your left foot into the mat, lift up your right leg. Roll up, pressing and connecting the foot to the floor. Twist, press and connect the knee to the elbow. Little pulses right here, up. Four, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Release down. Legs go long out to the corners of your mat. I want you to think of the rib cage curling up and coming down to your hip bone. Curl up. Finding the length through those legs. Exhale as you curl up. Your range of motion is gonna be small. It's not gonna be a huge range of motion. Just to bring that rib cage down. Four, eight, seven, six. Four, three, two, and one, release down. Hug your legs and roll up. You're going to grab a pillow or something that can go in the low part of your back. It's gonna act as support for your low back, for your lumbar, so you want it if it's a big pillow, roll it up, or maybe you have like a lumbar pillow like that, put it right in that low back. Scoop under again. Think of pushing that low back into the pillow, it's supporting you. Grab the backs of your thighs. This should feel nice. Pulling in the belly, and just breathe here. This is work right here, inhale. Exhale, pull that belly button to that pillow. Now you never want your back to release the pillow. So you don't want it to come up all the way over here, you always wanna have that connection. Reach your right arm long, curl up. So don't be afraid to pull onto that leg. And just like we did while we were on the ground, I want you to think rib cage to hip bone. So I don't want you to think of the whole upper body. Look at the difference between this and this curl. Yes, it's you're flexing, you're curling up. So the belly pulls in and that rib comes over into your hips, little pulses, eight, seven, six, three, two, and one. Take both hands behind your thighs, lift up, adjust your pillow if you need, because I need to, and then come back down, scoop it under, opposite arm. So I'm not thinking about getting up high away from my pillow, I'm thinking pulling into my pillow that low back, curling the top part of my body to the lower part. Thinking about the fingertips reaching ahead of me. Four, eight, seven, six, five, that feels good. Four, you guys got this. Three, two, and one, grab the backs of your thighs, take a breath. We're gonna add a little cross. If you're pregnant, you're gonna keep it linear. If not, you can add your cross. So take that right arm, cross and center, cross. If you wanna add a little challenge, you can tap your elbow out to the side, then cross. So it's a really big rotation. But if you rather just keep that arm extended, that's also an option. Give me five, twist, four. So you wanna keep your hips even, just that upper body. Twist three, two, and one. Grab the backs of your thighs, take it to the other arm, reach it long. Option one is a cross twist, taking that rib cage over to cross. You also have the option to take that elbow down, twist, twist, that's it, woo! 
Feeling that big rotation, big twist. Feels so nice. Four more, just like this, four. Reach, three, twist. Bring that shoulder open and cross. One more, open, cross. Backs up your thighs, sit up, take a breath. Okay, back down to your pillow, adjust if you need. Scoop it under, reach both arms. Tap, tap. So if this is too much for you, take it one arm for about five. Then you could take it to the other arm for about five. If not, you take both arms. Four, eight, seven. Curl up, six, five, four, three, final two, and one. Grab the backs of your thighs, sitting up nice and tall. Now you're going to grab a chair or a table or a couch. So you wanna get close to something that has a low base like so. Couches work really well for this. Oh, first give me a little stretch. So legs in front of you, inhale. Exhale, fold the body front. Stretch the backs of your legs. Stretch your low back for me. And then slowly flex your feet. Reach the arms in front of you. Roll back, isolating one vertebrae at a time. And then stretch back. Okay, so you have your chair or your couch or whatever. It has a low base. You want your head fairly close to it. And you're gonna push up into the base of your chair, your couch, etc. Lift up the lower body. And as you lift up, you kind of think of like curling your spine up, pushing into the base and lowering down. You press. Now make sure your shoulders stay relaxed through this. You don't want to carry too much tension in that neck. So as you press up and curl up, relax those shoulders. Okay, now the next thing I want you to think about. It's gonna feel so good to roll up, isolating that spine. It's okay if you're only going an inch off the ground. You don't need to throw your legs all the way up because honestly, I feel so much less doing this than I do when I do this. Because you're controlling the lift, and then not only the lift, but I want you to control the lower. As you lift up, I want you to think of isolating your spine to lift. Isolating as you lower. Isolate. There you go. So peel up and then peel down. That is what's gonna get your abs to work. That peel, that lift, that control. Now if you wanna go up, Control, 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 and then control down, that's great. And if you can hold it up maybe, little lift up, 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 just that lower butt, maybe you straighten your legs. Reach for four, three, keep pushing in that chair, two, and one, legs go long, arms go long, give me a nice little stretch. We have one more round like that, and then I'm gonna take you on to all fours. All right, let's lift up, legs and tabletop, curl up. All right, now this gets a little bit more advanced, but I know you can do it. Now think of the hip, either hip, I'm gonna start with my right hip. Think of lifting it up and down. Twist, twist. Now if you wanna keep it center, you can. If you wanna add that twist, you can. Twist, center. Up, up. Give me three, two, and one. Now bring it to the other way. Lift. It's kinda of hard to get your brain to do it, but I know you can. Lift, woo! Out in three, two, and one. Nice job, move that chair away. Before we go on to all fours, I wanna do one more ab series on your back. Give me a nice little stretch. Feeling that opening in your belly. Legs up into tabletop, curl up. Shoulder blades high, reach your right leg long, pull your left knee in, a nice split between your legs to start to switch them. You use that breath for eight, seven. If it gets too much, take your hands down, your head down, just move those legs for four, three, two. We start to tap, elbow to knee. You tap, tap. Really try to make that connection with your elbow knee for four, three, nice and slow. Reach through that leg. One and one. There you go. Roll it up. 
on all fours. Open up, nice cat cows. Now your legs are open almost as wide as the mat, a little wider than your hips. Your hands are under your shoulders, push away from the mat. Your right leg and left arm reach long. And down. So switching, opposite arm, opposite leg. All right, now what's gonna wanna happen is your hips are gonna wanna shift right and left. You see that shifting that I'm doing there? Now, in order for your abs to really feel this, for your center, your core, to really do the work here, you can go slower if you need to. I don't want your hips to shift. If I were to look at you, I would only see your arm and your leg move. This is hard stuff, not easy, but it's something that we can work toward. So I'll show you from here. Your body's gonna wanna do this, but that's taking all the work out of the center, kind of putting it right in your hip. Rather, reach to its full extent, then bring it down. Reach and bring it down. Reach your arm and legs full extent, bring it down. Also, your legs are gonna wanna start to creep nice and close to each other. Try to keep the base nice and wide. Keep reaching. I'm gonna reach through your toes. Reach through your fingers. Draw the abs in. Support that low back. My arms are feeling this. My abs. One more each way. Out, two, in, last one. Out, two, in. Now exhale round. Stretch it out. Inhale to release. Go around, curl the toes, reach your tailbone up to the sky, wiggle out those knees, walk your feet in, walk your hands back, and roll your body up. All right, I know I said we're done, but we're gonna work a little bit of obliques, standing, and then I promise you'll be done. Let me just change this camera angle a little. Option to grab a weight in your hand. Let's work some obliques. Grab a wall, a table, a chair, anything that can give you a little support. Reach, open up the side of your body. Exhale to close, rib cage to hip bone. Here we go. Up, down. Exhale. Reach. That's it. Up. Just like that. Think about big open, big close. You got it. Reach, close. Bring that knee up. Crush it. Four, three, two, one. Drop the weights. Extend the leg long. Lift it almost behind you. So I want your knee rotated down a little bit. Take the arm, wrap it around. Start to reach toward the toes and lift your leg up. Reach, so you're really closing that side space right there. Reach, think about lengthening through that leg. Upper body, lower body coming together. Reach, so it's not just that lower body. It's not just that upper body, everything together. For four, Woo! three, two, Hold it right here, bend your leg in half so your hip is open. Your leg is wrapped around you, hands behind your head. Little lifts up, this is where you get that final burn. You feel that final work right in that side, lifting from under that inner thigh, four, eight. The top of the knee is lifting, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Feet together, big stretch. That should have felt amazing. All right, take it to your other side. Arm out, big stretch, reach. You got this, close and reach. Arms are feeling it, obliques are feeling it. Big opening, big close. Oh yeah. Using that breath for five, 
four, crush it, three, two, and one, reach. Extend that leg long behind you, reaching that arm over, lift and lower, reach and lower. Upper and lower body come in together, slide that rib cage down, maybe feel your arm slide. Nice work, guys. You are almost there. Home stretch right here. Give me four more. Four. Lengthen through that like three. I'm right here with you. Two. Hold it up. Bend that leg in half so your hip is wrapped. It's open. Your leg is wrapped. Hands behind your head. And you are squeezing into your side. So the top knee is lifting. Rib cage to hip bone. Keep going, closing up that space. You squeeze, squeeze, lift. Even your hip is feeling it a little bit. Up, up. Give me eight, seven, nice and tight. Five, four, three, two, and one. Bring the legs together. Big stretch. Out into your second position, hands behind your head. Tap right to left. Think up and over. That's it, sitting nice and low, drawing the abs in up and over, up and over. Now start to reach through those arms for four, three, two, and one. Both arms go up, fold your body front, let it hang. Toe heel your feet to center. Reach over to one side. Reach over to the other side. Bring your legs in, roll your body up nice and slow. Open up those hip flexors for me. So one leg is front, one leg is back. Just really lengthen through that back leg and stretch away from it. Bring it to center. Hands to your thighs, roll up. Take it to the other side, extend long through that back leg. Reach your arm up. Oh, that feels nice. Stretch away from that back leg. Shake it out. Give me a nice deep inhale and exhale. You guys are done. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. I post a new video every week.